Civil society organizations that monitored the 2023 general election have published a report indicating a total of 238 incidents of violence and 24 deaths were recorded during elections across the country. This was disclosed at the public presentation of the Nigerian Election Violence Report in Abuja. Maria Mohamed has more. Nigerian elections have always been plagued with violence and mistrust which usually triggers cancellation of elections and encourage reruns. With this narrative, citizens are resigned to the fact that violence will occur before, during and after elections. Since 1999, electoral violence has increased with every person election circle due to internal political party dispute, party rivalry during campaigns and at the eventual outcome of elections. Civil society has been very critical of this trend and this prompted these CSOs to investigate and publish their reports so stakeholders involved in running elections can take notes and do more to cop the menace. I mean, their conduct should basically be looked into. Among what recommendations have, are that government must have zero tolerance for illegal proliferation of arms during the electoral process as this aids the recruitment of arming of thirds who contribute to a huge role in electoral violence. The three um, uh, uh, states that are going to have election have huge history of electoral violence, and that is Kogi, Imo, and uh, Bayesa. So, and that is why we need to double up and do the best we can do to foster electoral violence. INEC insists that the reduction in recorded cases of violence during these elections indicates a marked improvement as compared to other polls. He assures Nigerians that the Commission will do more to ensure violence free elections in Nigeria. Sure, your INEC is taking the EU of electoral offenses very seriously, very, very seriously. And it won't be like before that people will just commit an offense and it will go away. No, we started with our own our own staff, the REC, for instance, the, the, the REC, the Adamawa REC. INEC itself wrote that it should be prosecuted. Governments and politicians at all levels are all invited to join hands and put an end to electoral violence across the country as it is giving the country a bad name. Maria Mohamed, TVC News, Abuja.